today's video, I'm going to show you how to configure the HiveOS Profit Switcher using one of your HiveOS rigs. And if you're not familiar, I created this HiveOS Profit Switcher app. Uh, it's fully open source. Feel free to go through the code if you so wish. Uh, but essentially what it does is it uses uh, your HiveOS API key and it can monitor uh, live profits according to what to mine and automatically auto switch flight sheets for you. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to get that, how to configure it and get it up and running on a HiveOS rig. <clears throat> so to start off, uh, let's just talk about the configs a little bit here. So you'll need your HiveOS API key, which you can get by going to uh, at the top right. If you click on your username, go to sessions, and then you can generate an API token from there. Use that. Make sure you don't share it with anybody because it will give it basically control to make changes to your Hive instance. And then you'll also need your farm ID, which you can get from the URL. Um, and then you'll basically create these worker sections where you'll define your rig name. This name has to match whatever you have configured in Hive. And you'll configure the what to mine endpoint that corresponds with uh, that rig. So in my case, I've already created this uh, two gig rig. I have it saved as a favorites, just makes it easier to get to. I've already configured, uh, so I have a eight by uh, RX 562 gig card rig. And so I've already configured what will work with it. Uh, there are some caveats here. You see I have Kapow selected. That's because I can mine the OXA with it, uh, but I can't mine ETC or Ravencoin. And so what we're able to do is we're able to filter those out. So I'm telling it to only go after these coins. It'll never apply a flight sheet or look at profitability for any other coin. So once we have all that configured, we've got our numbers loaded up here. We want to click this JSON link right here and then just copy this URL. And then what you need to do at first is I paste it in the notepad. You can use any text editor here. And I do a replace all. I search for the ampersand and I replace it with ampersand AMP semicolon. We do a replace all and this is because we're putting this in an XML file and it needs to be encoded. Once you do that, you'll be able to, um, you'll need to do that for each rig, obviously. This one I'm setting up today, I'm only doing one rig, but you can do multiple rigs in the same config file. So let's go ahead and get our Hive OS instance configured for this. So I'm just gonna connect to it uh, I'm going to use, instead of using shell in a box, which you can do, I'm going to use putty. Just because it's a little bit easier to copy and paste commands. So we're going to log in with our user account and then our password. And then uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to download the release. So to do that, we're going to come over to our GitHub page, go to releases. We're going to download the latest release, which at the time of recording is version 0.0.3. Just come down to the zip file, right click, do copy link address. And we're just going to do a wget, paste that in, let this download the zip file. It'll take a minute here. I'm actually on the wrong rig, so give me one second. I actually want to be on, I think it's 29. Yeah. Okay. So I'm actually going to spin up another session. Oops, sorry about that. This is the server I actually want to run it from. <clears throat> So we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to do a wget. 
paste in that URL, give it a minute to download. Okay, it's downloading and good. So if we list, we can see, all right, we've got this. Now what I'd like to do is I like to put this in a common folder. I know this really isn't gonna get overwritten. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do unzip. We're gonna do our hive profit switcher, version 0.0.3 .0 zip, uh, space hyphen D to specify the data path we wanna to extract to. And I'm gonna do USR slash profit switcher. That's going to extract all of our files into that directory. Next thing we need to do is we need to make sure Mono is installed. This is a Microsoft.NET app, and as such, we need Mono runtime in order to run it on a Linux environment. So we're just going to do app get install Mono complete, and then we're going to hit Y to let it know we're okay with it using extra space. And this will probably take a minute or two to install. It's a pretty large package. And this will essentially allows you to run any type of C Sharp or Microsoft.NET built application within Linux. And that's what we're doing here. If you're running this on a Windows machine, you wouldn't have to do any of this. You could just download that zip file, modify the config file, and run it. But in this case, we're trying to streamline it so we don't have to have separate servers running just this monitoring program. We can just run it from our Hive OS system. All right. So now we've got Mono. Let's just double check, make sure Mono's installed. And you want to make sure the compiler version is at least 4.6.2, which it is. Um, next thing we're going to do, we can go ahead and delete that zip file that we downloaded. And we're going to change into the USR slash uh, profit switcher folder. And now what we need to do is we need to set up our config file. So to do that, I'm going to do nano hive profit switcher dot exe dot config. This is going to open up that XML file. And I've already got the setup for this one rig. So that's what I'm going to work with. Um, if you wanted to set this up for your own rig, again, you would replace the name here with your rig name. And then the what to mine endpoint would just be copy and pasted. Again, make sure you replace the ampersand with ampersand amp. And then whatever coins you want configured and the corresponding flight cheat name for that rig. And then once you have that done, I don't recommend using this on mixed rigs. Uh, you can. Like if you're mining ETC and ETH right now on the same rig, uh, you can, but what I would do post merge on those ones, I would just switch them to ETC probably. Um, or you can just pick a primary coin that you drive this off of. Uh, that would probably be the best way to go on those. Uh, this is really intended for uh, dedicated rigs that kind of all have the same cards in them. And then if you wanted to configure multiple rigs within the same app, again, you don't need to run this separately for each rig. You could do it all within here. You could just do another add tag name equals, like if I had a 3GB rig, let's say, and then I do the what to mine endpoint, right? Whatever that would equal. And then in here, I could do the enabled coins as well. I'm not gonna do that in this video, but that just gives you an idea how you can build out for multiple rigs. Uh, so what you wanna do now is you wanna paste in your farm ID and your API key that you can get from HiveOS. I've already got mine copied over here. So we're gonna go ahead and paste in that. And our farm ID is this. Okay. 
Paste then that. Control X, hit Y. All right. So now our config is set up. This should be ready to run. Uh, but first, what I want to do is I want to come back over to my 2GB rig. This is the one we're running the flight sheet against. All right. And so right now, we're running the vert coin flight sheet. And again, if we come back here and look, vert coin is down the list. Uh, technically, it would be my second place coin here. So what should happen is if I run this, it should switch my flight sheet to Neoxa. Now, one thing before I run this that I do want to mention is you want to make sure you have overclocking template set up. So if you look here, I have an overclocking template for vert hash. I have one for Kapow, which would cover Neoxa. You just need to make sure you have those set up because the profit switcher isn't going to switch your overclocks, but HiveOS will according to the algorithm if you have these set up properly. If you're only using the default config, there's a very good chance it's going to be either inefficient or it's going to crash based on whichever algorithm you're switching to. So just keep that in mind. <clears throat> Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to come back here and we're just going to run mono slash usr slash profit switcher slash hive profit switcher dot exe. And if all goes well, we should see a flight sheet updated. Yep. So now if we come back over here and we refresh, you can see it's now on the OXA. It still says vert hash because it's still applying the flight sheet. Uh, but over, actually, from here, if we launch this one, log in, and we pull up Miner, we can see it has switched. It's initializing all the GPUs. It's building the DAG now. And it's on Kapow. So now what we want to do, we know it's running, we know it's working. We need to set up a scheduler to run this automatically. So each time you run this, it's only running once. So now we're going to do a cron tab uh, dash E. And these are all the scheduled tasks in the system. And if you're unfamiliar with cron, you can really just look at these. And I can see this one runs every 15 minutes, right? Uh, so this is actually running log truncate every 15 minutes. And so we really want the same thing here. I want to run this every 15 minutes. So what I'm going to do is, I did not paste that apparently. All right, we'll just type it. All right, so the first perimeter is going to be the minute. And that's why we're doing asterisk slash 15. So that's going to say run it at the 15 minute mark, the 30 minute mark, the 45 minute mark, and the 00, zero mark of each hour. And that's what the next perimeter is of each day, of each week, of each month. <laughs> so that's kind of how those work out. And now what we're going to do is we need to just type out the command we just ran. So it's going to be mono slash USR slash profit switcher slash I think it's hive profit switcher dot exe if I'm not mistaken and then we can do um, a colon oops not colon escape if you hit escape twice it'll prompt this you just say yes you want to save and here you can see it failed, which is okay because I wanted to verify this name anyways. Uh, so it's HiveProfitSwitcher.exe. Uh, we're going to hit yes here to reopen it. The reason it failed to save is you have to have a new line character at the end of cron tab. So as long as you have empty line, hit escape twice again. Go over to yes. All right, and here we can see it installed it. Now if we do a cron tab hyphen L. This will list it out and we can see here it is configured to run. So what will happen is it should run uh, mono against that high profit switcher every 15 minutes. So in theory uh, if we took 
if I took this flight cheat now and I switched it to vertcoin let's say and right now it's 7.20 p.m. here so at 7.30 p.m. this should auto switch itself uh, back over to Neoxa assuming it remains most profitable which based on the mount difference I'm pretty sure it will but that's it that's all it takes to get this up and running uh, on your Hive OS instance and again this is running on one of my systems I can and at any time you can modify that config file uh, you don't need to stop any services or anything if you ever need to modify the config file you just do a nano slash usr slash profit switching profit switcher sorry um slash hive dot exe dot config and you can adjust these blocks in here uh, again so if i wanted to once neoxa exceeds the two gig DAG size, I could just come in here, remove this out, save it, and be on my way. And continue mining profit switching without Neoxa. The other thing you can do, this is just an XML file, so you can also comment these out if you want to keep them for whatever reason, for historical purposes. You can just do a XML comment here this would comment out that line right and so then it would skip Neoxa I'm not gonna save uh, but that's it that's it for this video so thank you guys for watching if you have any questions at all feel free to drop me a comment below I'm the sole developer of this so if you run into any issues, feel free to open an issue on the GitHub. You can just come here, create a new issue if you see anything. Um, or if you want, if there's any type of enhancements you're looking for. Oh, one thing I did forget to mention is there's a 5% threshold on this. So the way this works right now is uh, if we get back over to what to mine, if I'm mining Vertcoin, and Neox is more profitable. Neoxa needs to be at least 5% more profitable than Vertcoin. Uh, that's currently how I have that coded. There's a 5% threshold. And that will prevent coins from constantly jumping back and forth. So if we take a look here at, uh, just as an example, let's take a look at Quark and Ubik. Right, They're, it's three cents. These could these are so close that they could jump back and forth constantly, right, within an hour. And you don't want your flight cheats doing that, right? So I put that threshold in there so that it's got to be at least 5% more before it's going to start jumping. Uh, but that's it. If you guys run into any issues, just leave me a comment on this video or head over to the GitHub. Open an issue there. You can open an enhancement there. Uh, thank you for watching.